Places like the Yuri Ice Park often have anchors far away from the cliff edge. So in this case, I'm going to use a static rope and a few lockers to get the master point over the cliff edge. I'm going to tie a bite knot, a figure eight on a bite, that way it doesn't bind as much as an overhand on a bite. Clip that to one bolt. And what I want to do so I can not have to go close to the cliff edge is I'll throw down a sizable amount of rope and to make adjustments on this, I'm going to tie a clove hitch here. And I'm going to bring this up. And I'm going to tie a BHK or big honkin' knot. The reason I'm going to tie this is so I have multiple strands in that master point instead of just one. I'm going to clip in two locking carabiners opposite and opposed. And that's ready to go. I'm going to take my flaked rope right in the middle. If I have a middle mark, that's pretty nice. Otherwise, I'll just take the two ends and get to the middle. I'll have already made sure no one is below me when I toss these ends and that I'm not in the way of of this moving rope system. Rope! And the final piece, rope! And I can see how taut these both are and if it's running where I want it to be. And I can always come back and make a little micro adjustment on this clove hitch. The benefits of using a static line are it's a thick material, not much stretch, and so if people are walking along by your systems, at least they won't step on a bunch of little skinny Dyneema strands slung together. You're also not going to have debris that could possibly come down with your dynamic rope running over all of this. Using a static rope is my go-to for a clean, simple system. Trees are often another top rope option. In this case, they're fairly close to the cliff edge, so I want to keep secure. I'm gonna tie a figure eight with a long enough tail to use as my tether. I'm gonna go around this tree and trace this eight. When I'm using this as a tether, I'm gonna tie this off with a double fisher ends. Then I can attach myself with the gree gree. And be much more secure at the cliff edge. Then I'll take this other end to create my master point. And off of my other tree, tie this off with a sling. I'm gonna clip that. And with this extra piece, tie a bite knot and attach that to my locking carabiner. So what I have set up are two trees. extend my master point over onto the ice. Two locking carabiners opposite and opposed. I would lock those after I put the middle of my rope in. And just as we showed before, offset over the cliff edge. Be sure to practice these skills before you head out and having a multitude of ways to anchor with a static rope would be very helpful.